And I'm saying that we can and go we get in the air. So being aware of what's happening here right now. With my mind is saying what you're here for. And let's begin. We're here for bringing mind and body together. That's the yoga. So I'm glad that you're here. And be aware of your hip from the sides. And then go to the buttock bone and declare, I am at the center of my buttock bone. I am at the center of my buttock bone. I am balanced. I am aligned. I am balanced. I am aligned. And watch your body, whole body, getting aligned. So now your whole body is going towards the center. Rooting it, rooting, grounding, rooting, grounding. And from there, what's happening is tummy is getting tucked in, chest is expanding, right? which is symbolic that you are, keep on doing this, that be on the center of the buttocks. And from there, whatever I'm saying, relate to that, that when I declare that I am at the center of my buttock home, I I'm using words. I am at my center, center of the body. What's happening? Greater body is listening to that. I am at the center. I am aligned. And all of that, all of those changes which are happening right now, true. You're not doing none of it, but it's happening. One thought, one word. Multiple numerous action automatically happening to you. And I'll let you be there. Keep on doing it. Keep doing it. That be present at the center, center of the body form. And meanwhile, I am running a program. Okay, so now you are at the center. Being present and now press your palms on the center of your thighs and lift your whole palm up, let the wrist remain down there. And with the wrist, you are sensing touch, chain your thigh and sensing lifting palms up like this is bringing something greater to my tailbone over there on the wrist and on the reaction. Once you're on the center of the tailbone, see what's happening. The very tuck here in your lower belly is inviting your flora to be active and with you. So the guys in your core, the, the biomes, by the way, we are more than ourselves. We are more than our body. So the number of cells we have, we have seven times more than that. We have more volumes than that. It's seven times more volumes than that. And those volumes are running the show. And in India we say, kiss, kansa kira Kiss. Like why you're doing this, it's a slang. And that's so true that all our life, these guys are running the show. So we are blessing these guys for being aligned, being focused, and helping us in bringing the balance. And after this, we will do some more movement. Now, fingers are up. You are slowly bringing the center of the palms down. And then fingers down. So usually what we do, we place palms and then straight, we straight go to the center of the palms. But here we're using the technique to be exactly there on the center of the palm. And it's there. And see what's happening. Ongoingly energy from your palms going down, getting connected to your thighs and thighs getting connected to the center of the butt bone. And butt bone is getting connected here to your core. 
Once core is in, chest is up, and that's opening your heart. And heart is now able to receive. And now, that's why we practice this so that, that's why we practice this at the beginning, so that you can receive this. Every word which I'm saying, every contribution which I'm making, every contribution which you are here for, you're receiving that. Beautiful philosophy, and you're experiencing it all. You're not, I'm not just saying, believe me. You're doing it, and you're believing me. Within two minutes, you get, okay, yeah, this is what she's saying. I press my wrist, all palm, the entire palm is up. Then I slowly go to the center of my palms, acknowledge that, press that. Then I go to my fingers and stretch my fingers out. The moment I set my fingers out, shoulders goes back, chest opens, and there is space at your heart chakra. On your heart, we saw it before, but on your chakra, you're seeing right now, and you're open and receptive. Thank you. Thank you for receiving it so generously. Now, move your hands down and think of your fingertips. Just Beautifully, nicely, tenderly touching it down. And being aware. Being aware of the fingertips. What's happening? What's happening to my fingertips? What's happening on the floor, on the mat where I'm touching it? And now you're again getting connected to the body. So the tips point, the tips of the finger is the point of nervous system. And see where are you getting connected? Any relation? Any connection? You are on your fingertips. Now bring more awareness there. Concentrate on your pinkies. Then on your ring, thumbs, middle, index. And notice. While really, really being focused, what is the outcome, what is the gain here? Shoulders are coming down. Shoulders are doing a lot of as if there is some weight on my shoulders and there is opening. Hmm. And what's happening to your biceps, triceps? What's happening to your entire arms? Some of you are there, okay. some of you are not there at all. Very good. Now, I'm saying good and very good because you are here on the path, on the journey, and you will come to know it soon. Now, having acknowledged all of that, that shoulders are moving down, opening to the sides, there is some extra stretch on my bicep stretching, arms are completely stretching, tummy is tucking in, and what's happening to your jaws? Are you creating some space there? Maybe some of you are noticing saliva. What is that? Hmm, that is less than digest. So, when you have saliva in your mouth, what does, what does that indicate? It indicates that your system is digesting. And you cannot digest when, without resting. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so now we, act we have activated our nervous system by pressing the fingertips down, and nervous system is automatic nervous system, and it's autonomic nervous system, which is things are happening automatically in your life and happening for your good. And the moment you are not aware of that, the moment you don't acknowledge that, it doesn't work as much as it would work with your attention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, arms up. So you may see that, okay, she's talking and then getting something out of there and then smiling. Up, up. Now, align your hands with your shoulders and stretch it out. Stretch it out. And see what's happening now. Mm -hmm. Seeing, okay, seeing, actually seeing, yeah. 
but mentally seeing, seeing mentally more. To be able to see mentally what's there, the sense sets. Your arms are telling you, ah, it's painful, come back, and you're not coming. And you may say, extra stretch, I cannot do this, and no, I'm not letting you come back here. So you're staying here. Now that I'm wanting you to feel more, so stretch your right fingers towards your right shoulder, left fingers towards your left shoulder, and see what's happening now. Extra degree. Very simple, not very, not, not very easy though. And some of you can say, argue, yes, it is easy. Yeah, you're saying so, you're doing it, and you're seeing that it's easy. Easy, knowing that pain is there and helping you to grow, strengthen your muscles, it is easier. And some of you want to come back, please come back and we do. Now, those who are here still, drop the shoulder blades down. And the question may come, how in the world can I drop my shoulder blades down? Go, put your mind there, and then tell your body, I want to bring my shoulder blades down. And your body is doing all the magic, with one thought, one command, you are your own genie. I am your genie too, but you are your own genie. Okay, time to come back. Move your hands down and up. Down and up. And bring your palms in front, join it together, hold your hands, and let your hands rest. Let your arms rest here. And now you press palms at the center of your chest. There is thymus gland, where is Manohari Nari. What is the significance of that? Let me tell you. It increases the immunity, willpower. It connects you to the higher, higher being. Okay, is this being lower? Oh. So you are on the first step of the ladder and you're going higher. Okay. Ladder is in and you're going to the higher step. So higher being we're going to, higher being is magical. So now inhale. Exhale and say thank you for immunity in your body. Okay. The moment you say, Jodi, this is for you. The moment you say, I am immune, and you press the center of the sternum, the chest, and you press it, like, you know, four fingers, you tap it down. Hammer's exercise run. Okay. So the people who are who have experienced tapping, this works. People who have experienced access consciousness, we say timeless exercise run, this works. And as for the yoga, Manohari Nari. Manohari Nari. The words have, have the power. You're saying I'm immune. No doubt about it, you're immune. Okay, with that, exercise. This time this exercise will run for the whole day. Now, arms together, stretch your arms up over your head and see what's happening. So we are stretching spine by doing Urdhva Hasta. When arms are up, Urdhva Hasta. And this is not Tarasana. We usually we do Urdhva Hasta Tarasana. This is Urdhva Hasta Pad. Sukhasana. Okay. And now, um, be again present of the center, center of your body, center of the body bone, knees and your shoulders, arms together, fingers, pinky, ring, middle, index, and thumb. So fingers are together, they are contributing. Then you move your wrist together and see what's happening here. Very subtle, very gentle movement, but 
you will notice the impact of this entire day, your whole day you will notice it. So now check how many of you are not at the center of the project. Bone, where it is, there is extra arch in your back. Then you say again, I am at the center of the body. So overdoers are doing this, that they stretch their arms too much and that takes them away from the back. So I'm saying do too much, extra much, but be at the center of the body. Do it from the balance, do it from the ease. Ease is the key. No matter what's happening in your life, what you're going to trust the Lord. Trust your higher being. And then with the balance and calm and poise, you take action. Come back. Ease it. Release it. Okay, now see the circulation all over. Notice it. Notice the stretch in your front spine and the back spine that automatically from this posture of the spine, you're here with the natural normal curves. So from this posture of the spine, rounded spine, you're here. Good job. Now let's Get up and do one sun salutation. So since three days we've been doing sun salutation and we'll continue that. And we don't know yet what variation we are going to do because I am channelizing the energy as you know. So now I'm thinking of who can I contribute today with this sun salutation. And if it's my body, we are my body, it's your body and all of you, those who are watching this right now. Okay. Now let's go to, so I'll take some time, or maybe we are going. So why I was saying I will take some time that, okay, if my body is visible, so this is visible. I can move my screen a little back. And from there, okay, good morning. Good morning or good evening, wherever you are. Okay, nice. Okay. Good time, good place to start with sun salutation. So keep the foot one foot, feet one foot apart, and from there you lift your toes up. From here, you stretch your arms up. And see, the moment you stretch your arms up, something happens to your whole body, but see it here, see it here, see it here. So you're stretching your arms up, hands are not together yet. Your toes are up and then bring it down. In here up and bring it down. In here up. So why we are doing this? Every time you're inhaling and lifting your arms up, you're noticing what's happening. And then you're bringing it down, you're noticing what's happening. And also being present of your toes. Toes are still up. And from there you go to the back of your feet. So go to this portion, the heel. Right at the center. Right here and the center of it. So you go there, mentally we are connecting, rooting, grounding. Mentally we are connected to the mother earth via our feet. So toes are up, I am pressing it down, arcing myself. Heels are down, I am at the center, and I'm, I'm arcing myself, grounding. Whatever needed to be given to mother earth, I'm giving that. And whatever needed to be received, I'm receiving that as well. So now put your big toe down and see what's happening to the center of your thigh. The moment the big toes press, first five toes were up. Now you're pressing the big toe down and noticing, yeah, this is bringing something here. Good. And then you press all the four toes down. Now stretch your arms up, hands together, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees slightly, and you can see my tail is out, so I tuck it in. Tail is out, tuck that in. So this action you will do, inhale, exhale, down. So knees are still bending, and slowly you're exhaling down, aligning your knees and ankle together, and then slowly you're breaking it down. 
Now what's happening? Smile mostly is aligned. If not, you we'll take the support of wall and push your hand on wall and see how nicely spine is getting aligned. And then you put your hands down. Stay here for some time. Now, what is not aligned? My thighs are not parallel to floor. So now here, I will take this opportunity to align my spine, bringing in parallel through the floor. And that is quite a much. Quite, quite, quite a much. Now, move your right foot back. Front foot, front knee is in line. And here, you are moving your back heel up and down. So that there is some comfort and once it's comfortable there you press your front foot and you slowly move your arms up for you press your arms up and you might say this is a new variation of sun salutation yes maybe and you're saying om surya so whenever you bow down to somebody, some power, you're attracting their energy. Whenever you touch elders' feet, you're attracting all the good from them. They're giving you blessing, you're attracting all the good to now, Lord Sun. Om Surya Namaha. Inhale, this will challenge you for balance. Exhale down. So challenging for balance doesn't mean that you will fall. Challenging for balance is that you will maintain your balance. You will learn how to balance in any position. Good. Philosophy again. So now move heel up, down, heel up, down. Then we're going to switch our leg position. Right foot forward, left back. Both feet are in center. And do the same back foot, heel up. And down. Heel up and down. Your hands are firm, your front foot is firm. While doing so, what do you feel here? I'm doing this. How is she doing? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Be aware. Don't take any action on that here. Now, press your back foot here. Front knee and front ankle is in line. And then you're, then you're pushing your back heel away. By pressing the toes down, and then you lift your body. Arms are apart, and something greater is happening here that you're being aware of your palms moving, fingers moving towards the wrist. You're being aware of your front foot aligning even more. And how are you doing all that? By being present of your souls, being grounded all the time. Interesting enough, if you align your breaths are longer and that causes the longevity. Even in core work, which we will do sometime, you notice, you will notice that, yeah. My breaths are deeper and longer. You know, both feet back. Heels up, heels up. Heels up, heels down. Some of you will do this. Heels up, heels down. Okay, so keep your front body firm. Just heels up, heels up. Heels up, stay here. See, my tailbone is the center of this position. Now I'm thinking. Why do I think? My with my thoughts and words I'm creating every posture here. It's looking like that I'm doing physically, but it's more mental. I am aligned, I am balanced. I am aligned, I am balanced, I am centered. I am at peace. Right, now move your right foot back, left foot back, plant. Some of you may be here, Maybe here, maybe here, no problem. Wherever you are good. With the daily regular practice, your arms are getting stronger. Are you strong? Then you bring your knees down, feet down. Acknowledge your feet, touching them. Then slowly move your elbows, bend it, 
and see your chest coming down. Move your buttocks down, feet stretched, hands and elbows in line, stay here, take a deeper breath. Now, connect with your body, your front thighs, your back thighs, your head is down. Notice what's happening now. Center off your eyebrows, palms at the center, eyes at the center, knees at the center, toes at the center. So once you're here, it, it soothes, like it gives you what most calm. And you are saying, thank you, Lawson, or whoever is in your head for now, your Guruji, your any energy, any power, Matarani, or anybody. Or your higher self. So you're saying, I am. Learn. I'm very well connected. I am grateful and thankful. Now, with this, we are going to do Bujanga. That's the name of Cobra. And you go back from here. If you are here, take your shoulders, plate, shoulder blades back. And your feet, for you, you are here, push it down. And yesterday, you used the blocks underneath the pelvis, so press it up. So idea is to press, 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 press. Press your palms, press your thighs, press your feet and then move your toes away. Now that is a beautiful feeling that shoulders are ongoingly going back. Chest is ongoingly opening up. And now pull your toes. Lift your thighs slightly up. This will require some strength of your arms. And then you go down. So in India, we can say, the um, man used to do this question for Scott. Warriors, they would do some celebrations. It has that much strength. Now, like look forward, why you talk so much in the class one to bring some clarity? I don't have to buy some time so that we can stay long. Both feet in front, slightly apart, moving toes up, pressing big toe down, press four toes up, and from here, start moving your arms. Arms together. Um, and then you go Okay, so this kind of sun salutation you can do. We can 10 minutes for one sun salutation. After this, you can sit down, you can lie down. We're choosing to sit down today and rest here. When need to be to rest? Once you're not rested. So, heartbeat saying, it's a little faster, heartbeat saying, yeah, rest. So we are resting. And many people, I used to do 108 sun salutation without rest. That is also possible. But right at the end of those physical workout, physical workout is to involve your mind, bring your mind here. And then take the advantage of that and relax and go connect with your deeper self. That's the deeper meaning of. So beautifully designed curriculum that after sun salutation, yoga network, shavasana, and deep. Like you have done all the preparations, you cut vegetables, you are you have put the recipe, but you're not okay. So do your preparation, sun salutation, and then do your cooking, shavasana. So I'm giving you the glimpse of Shavasana right here. 
So you have, I need to lie down too. So focus that your body is light. Focus on your heartbeats and see it, however it is, and however it is not. The whole entire attention is on your heart. When you're saying a big thank you to your heart, And your heart is relaxing now. It's at ease. Relaxing doesn't mean that you to stop and relax. Relaxing, you can keep on doing whatever you want to do. You can meet with ease. A big relaxed set of mind. Now see how you how relaxed your heart is. My heart is super relaxed that I'm grateful. I am at peace and I am grateful. I am happy and I am grateful. I am balanced. I am grateful. I am aligned. I am balanced. I am strong. I am thankful. My heart is lighter. There is energy flowing through my heart, through my whole body. I am open and receptive. I am present to the good in me. I am present to the good outside, around me. And I am at ease. I am relaxed. I am light. Let's see what's happening to your whole body. Your body is listening. We are your heart. Whatever you feed in your heart that's flowing in your veins, in your arteries. In India, we say, mm. So that's why we are choosing heart meditation today. That my heart is loving heart. My heart is grateful heart. It's a configuring support to our heart. I am open and receptive for all the good present in the now. I am calm right now. I am present right now. I am aligned right now. I am focused right now. I am grateful right now. I am thankful right now. I am aligned right now. I am at ease right now. My body is very relaxed. Those are like feet are like four legs are like knees are like thighs are like. The bones, the around the sides, the hip sockets, joint, super light.
The internal organs, my liver, spleen, pancreas. So, whatever organs are inside, and you know their name. If you don't know their names, yeah, say whatever organs are there inside my belly are super light. Super blessed. I am grateful. I feel the lightness everywhere. Some of you are noticing pain. Some of you are noticing extra weight. Some of you are noticing allergies, impurities. Some of you are dealing with fever. That's the way of the body telling you that give me attention. And now you're being attentive that everything inside is perfect, nine. And from there you're creating that very thing which you are seeing and saying. I get that the pain is real and inside this pain I am strong. I am balanced on the line. I get that the allergies are there temporarily. Right now I am alive. I am balanced. I am strong. My immune power is super strong. My body structure there's balance. I am alive. I am grateful for this alignment. From organs you come to the skin, the skin of my body, my core. Even with the stress marks, it is beautiful. And I will remind you. Your process of the process, giving life, giving life to life, carrying that. And now you are lying. I'm super grateful for everything that happened, everything which is happening, everything which will happen. I am super grateful. Focus on your upper core, beneath the chest, go on the spine from here, upper middle spine. It's all light, go along the back. I am centered, I am fat. Once you lie down on the floor, you are on the floor. See yourself aligned, centered, right? You're sitting on a chair or floor. See yourself centered, yeah, center. I am centered. I am aligned. I am centered. I am alive. Keep on beating this drum to the time you actually see it. I am centered. I am alive. I am light, relaxed, centered, alive. I am super strong, super flexible. 
Concentrate on your chest, lungs, mediums of your abs, your sides. Build with light, why light? Now, now, chronic for chronic energy there. It is deciding your bio energetic field around you, your aura. It makes things easier for us or other ones. I am open and receptive. I am aligned in balance. I am abundant. I am grateful. I am open and receptive. So what you may notice Joy, right? Maybe tears as well. Some of you are happy with the physical overview. And it's the part of it. It's, it's, it's the, the awareness of the part you are right now. Um, now go to the back of your chest. You see that part that crosses the upper part of this one. Go to your shoulder blades and come back to the center of this one. From the center of the spine, go to the shoulder blades and armpits. From armpits, go again to your chest. You see the entire cage. Ribcage, entire skeletal system here, the bones, the connectors. You see every molecule is filled with light, light which is there in the air sac of the chest, in your heart. And from your heart, it is going to every part, every molecule of your body. And renewing it. And we are as old as seven months. Every seven months or so, our body will be renewed. Our blood cells, it renews within three months. It's a fresh new, fresh new, fresh new. So we're always fresh and new. I'll come through your neck, let's go. From there, go to your shoulders. From shoulders, go to your arms. Upper. Middle. Lower arms. In your palms. Notice how light you are. Super light. Focus at the center of the eyebrows. From here, go to your facial muscles. Eyes, eyebrows, forehead, cheeks, ears, chin, jaw, roof of your mouth. Lower of your mouth and tongue, throat. Go to the brain from your throat. Internal beard, internal bones, 
the spine and that's connected to the brain. You're on your brain, your skull. And noticing the faculties there. There are programs, the software is here, the being aware of this app. Yeah, something is happening there. It's the taboo there. Noticing your brain. And programming it for balance, abundance, that care, support. I am open in the Saturday for love, laughter, care, support, contribution, abundance, and joy. I am open and accepted for love, laughter, care, support, joy, abundance. Focus on your ego center again and be there for some time. And see how nice you are now. Whatever is supposed to be you has left the body. And whatever you are wanting, the divine love that is there with you. And I'm super grateful that I could contribute. No. We chant on three times here. In here. Shanti, 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 breathe. I slowly move it out with your hand down on top. Bend your knees one by one. I move your knees to the sides. Like side, left side. Those who are sitting, you can move it out as well. And slowly start to make that move to the side and start holding that. Join your palms at this point. Feet is there. The energy in the form of feet is there. Give this energy back from your eyes. From your eyes, it's going to the brain. From brain, it's reaching out to your whole body. It's a beautiful day. And I'm super thankful. And I'm grateful for this opportunity. Thank you. Um, and that's what we did today, some salutation and shavasana. So shavasana is basically the meditative practice.
it helps you to go deeper in your body. <clears throat> okay, am I not in my body? What do you mean? It lets you go in your body, in your subtle level of the body. So subtler, 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 subtler. So subtle level of the body, it doesn't require any time that you say things and things come right there. That's the magic and that's my contribution to you today that you think of the thing and that appears from nowhere, right? It appears as if mushrooms are there in my garden, so right? Just it overnight, it comes overnight. So thank you everyone for joining and God bless you all and I'll see you again soon.